everybody. Welcome back. This is Gina. I want to say thanks for stopping by today. Um, I'm going to be offering a flip through of my latest journal. And this is also a design team project for uh, my porch prints. Um, Stephanie's got a fairly new kit. Well, it's been out for a little while, but it's the first time I've used it. It's called Among the Wildflowers. And it coordinates, you know, with with um, her other kit, which I believe is Botanical Wildflowers. And I just absolutely love these uh, designs. So I was eager to work with this um, kit for Stephanie. So let's just get started. This is an envelope style <clears throat> journal. But, of course, I've always tweaked mine. You know, they've, they've been lined with... Um, fabric to reinforce them and then you know I do my my little things to them here and there so let's get started the closure is an eyelet with the um, sari silk and this is a two signature this measures about four and a half by six and a quarter you know I like working with the smaller journals and um, these just fit really really nicely into your hand. Okay, so let's see, I've got a lot of stitching going on. I've got the book plate here, it says memories, we've got various bits of uh, doily, old button, old trims, two signatures sewn in, and then on the back I've created a little um, collaged pocket. And I've tucked in a uh, card, a tag that I've made using some of the papers that I've used for the cover as well. And I thought that really coordinated nice. A lot of lavenders and purples in this because this design's got, got those colors. But there's also lots of pinks and greens, which I love as well. Which is why I, put a, I chose a green button. I thought it really pulled that image out. A lot of stitching, as I said. A lot of layering there in the front. <clears throat> so if we go inside, <clears throat> excuse me guys, bear with me today, I still, still, I don't know, scratchy, scratchy. Okay, so on the front here I've got this um, window pocket, and here is a tag that I've created, and I've got a little bulb pin here with a little tag, some lace, and another little charm. And then on the back there, I've done some stenciling. I've tried to do quite a lot of stenciling in this journal. <coughs> if you flip that over, here we've got, make sure I'm in frame here, we've got another little belly band with a journal card that I've made. Add some old trim and buttons, 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 uh, mother pearl buttons in this, and just various things from Stephanie's shop, past um, kits that I've worked with that coordinate nicely with this. And then here I've made a kind of like a collage snippet type um, fabric pocket, but then I uh, made the focal point the bit of this was an embroidery napkin and I bought some time ago and I, I bought them with the intention of cutting them up and using them for pockets so um, I managed to work that into this design I love these papers aren't those just beautiful the colors are really pretty on this so here now this is another kit that um, I've worked with and this is the thistle stamp set uh, postage, faux, pass, faux postage, boy that's a mouthful, um, stamps. And so I made a, a nice snippet with that. Let me just show you a close up. So there's actually two kits within this design team project. Those were a lot of fun. You'll know, see I've used them in various ways throughout. Another little tag with an eyelet and some Irish linen thread stamped. This is some handmade paper that uh, I was gifted during my friendship journal challenge and I just love that. Uh, so I added that because this is a very kind of a rustic um, botanical journal is, is what I would say my style is. Here I've got another little handmade tag 
did some stenciling on the tab there. And then I've added, at the uh, stitching around here, I've added multiple layers of uh, trims and things <clears throat> for my stash. And this has all been backed onto some music sheet paper. Did a double pocket here with a tiny tag tucked in there. And then here I just did some stamping and added bits and pieces in for these. And then this is an embossed. Uh, envelope pocket there. I love how that page came out. Love the stenciling. Love this. <laughs> I just, I love this journal. I just, everything about it. These are totally my colors. Um, I believe this is a freebie from my Porch Prints website. Um, so you could go and check that out, but I turned it into a little journal card, and these are also on my porch prints. She does some fussy cut images of birds, and she's got um, flowers, so um, those are beautiful to work with. I made a little tuck spot there. <coughs> More pages from the kit, and then here I've just made a, a page pull out with a tab. For extra writing and then in this pocket I've just added another little collaged um, journal card with a lot of stitching on that and then I don't know if you if the camera's going to show this up but this is like a really soft gray um, lace this is a French lace and it's got the little hearts on it Stamping, like I said, I tried to stamp and stencil throughout. <coughs> Excuse me, center of the pocket, um, center of the first signature. I've done a, um, I've lined the envelope that I made with my um, punch board, and then I've added these two mini Rolodex cards, and they've just been collaged with bits of lace and trims, and I've stamped. I've added more of those. Thistle stamps, I just love those. So those are tucked in there. They could be used in another journal or moved around throughout the journal. Quite a lot of writing spaces you can see. Now this, I've had a lot of questions about this. <coughs> Excuse me, I posted this page on um, Instagram and the way the photograph came out, there was no reflection, so a lot of people thought that I had maybe stamped this image, but if you see what had happened, I had some leftover, this clear washi, and I just had that one little piece, because you can see the reflection when I move it around, and I just stitched that over muslin and then added, and I just love how that came out. So it's not a tuck spot, it's just purely for decoration. And this was gifted um, during my friendship journal challenge, and I just thought that went beautifully with that pocket, and I love the green. Sorry on that. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I should have grabbed a drink. Actually, I've got one. Hang on. <coughs> sorry about that. My voice is just so strained. Okay, so again, um, this is a freebie from Porch Prints, and what I've done here, I've made this little, this little flip, and then this opens up, so you've got some extra writing space there, and then over here as well, and <clears throat> these are also from my Porch Prints, these little um, definition Uh, definition, what am I trying to say? Definitions, I guess. You get a sheet of these, and so I've added that there with a little tag from the kit. I embossed this pocket.
And then another belly band here that I've made, and this is a little window tag. I've got lots of little tags up there. I love how that looks. <coughs> Okay, on this page we've got three pockets, and I've added, that's another collage uh, journal card there. This was just from my stash, and I just thought the contrasting dark against these pastels looked nice. And then another little um, stitched journal card comes from the kit. Lace, and of course this is all Edith Holden book page. Here I've made a large pocket. I've not tucked anything in this, guys, because it's getting... <laughs> it is so big. I never intended it for it to be this large. So you can see the, the uh, butterfly from Stephanie's. This is a different kit. Um, can't think off the top of my head, but I just added some purple and muslin under there. I love how that came out. Lots of layering. <clears throat> Another bit of handmade paper. Just a decorative little collage down there. And then here <coughs> is another uh, journal card. I love how that came out. So that's a nice big one. And then we are on to the second signature. Love that journal card. Those are just totally my colors. And this is a little um, embossed acetate tuck pocket. More collaging, tiny bucket, uh, bucket. <laughs> what is going on with me today? A tiny button. I don't know, guys. Brain is just not working. <laughs> uh, another little pocket here with a stamped tag. Some seam binding. And then this is the journal card I recently did a tutorial on. That's a little rose gold, um, paper clip I added it to hold this in. So we did the uh, tutorial on this, so if you're interested in that, I'll try to remember to put the link to that video. Um, again, hand handmade paper, love those. Stenciling, more papers from the, the kit, just beautiful. And then this is a little pocket that I shrunk down because I wanted it to be tiny, tiny. And so I've just made, it's a three pocket. Um, if you want to leave that open, you could turn it into four, but I didn't want to because it was so small as it was. Um, but I love that. And then this was just some extra paper I tucked in there and stamped on that. Another snippet here with lace and and then another handmade tag. Love how that came out. I've enjoyed this journal so much because I've been working in greens and reds with all my December dailies. Um, and I've got some more of those for sale, guys, if you're interested. Um, it's a great time to make a purchase on those because with the shipping delays, it'll, it will ensure, um, by purchasing one now, you'll ensure that you've got it in plenty of time so that you're ready when December comes. Um, so another tag in this little pocket and another snippet with an old, old mother of pearl button there. More stenciling. Love those pages. Um, center of the signature here more stenciling and then I've done a tuck spot up here made this little handmade card I've done some stenciling and collaging and then added that little image and then this has just been kind of collaged <clears throat> to suit this journal because you know how you end up with some pages with the Edith Holden that you're not that mad on it and I just collaged them so that I think they really blend nice with that More stenciling here, and then that um, handmade paper. I absolutely love that fern image. Now this was a tag I did some time back for Tracy 
um, when I was on her design team and I love this how that came out so I added that because it's all it all coordinated beautifully and then over here I've got another little this is one of the journal cards that comes with it and I just added some snippets to make a tab Um, this is just a little tuck spot there, as you can see. This is one of, um, actually, this is from a different kit, but as you can see, all of my porch print really coordinate beautifully together. And I just collaged this again with some various papers, some cheesecloth, and, and things back there. This is another tutorial I did where we took book pages and made these pockets, and then I've attached a a glass bead there, another little journal tag, and then this is a large journaling card that's been tucked in there. <clears throat> and then this is the back. I've done another fabric pocket here, added one of the little charms. Um, this was from Took, her tutorial on how to make these. Love it. Add a little bit of lace there, and then this is a decoupaged uh, tag that I've backed with tea dyed paper. And then we're back to the, the back of the journal. As you can see, I mean this honestly, guys, I don't normally end up with my journals being this chunky. Um, let me see it. Because that's ended up almost five inches. Um, it is full. <laughs> so there she is. Um, and I have named this one Among the Wildflowers, the same as the kit that I used. It just seemed the perfect name for this one. So this is for sale in my shop if you're interested. And like I said, there's also some. Um, December dailies in there if you would like to take a look at those. If you do purchase more than one item from me, I do combine the shipping and I will refund anything that, you know, any of the overcharges, I will refund those. Um, international shipping seems to be taking now, guys, about 21 days, business days. Um, that's not always the case, but I am telling my customers to please allow three to four weeks now um, there is a massive slowdown because of everything that's you know the post office is dealing with at the moment so um, be patient guys but if you've ever got any concerns you can contact me via my website there's a way to contact and I will um, answer you just as quick as I can I hope you guys have enjoyed that <laughs> look at that it's ridiculous I don't like I said I don't normally <laughs> make them this chunky but Oh well, it was fun. It was really, really fun to get back to this because um, I I loved making the Christmas journals, but I was just um, like red overload. And you know, red is kind of a color. It, it, if you're in red for a long time, it'll make you really agitated. So it probably wasn't a great idea for me to have worked at that at this time, but I knew if I didn't get started with it, there was just no hope that I would get those done. So, um, But I did enjoy it because it's something that's been on my list for a couple of years, which is really sad to, to admit to, but you know how it is. If you're a crafter, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I hope everybody is staying well. I hope you're enjoying the summer. I, I feel almost like 2020 just didn't happen. I don't know if the rest of you are feeling that way, but it. I think in a in a year or two, we're going to look back and say, what did we do in 2020? I mean, that's how I feel. It all seems a bit of a blur, but, um, but at least I did achieve the December dailies this year, so that, I'm grateful for that. And, um, and I, I, I have had time to work in my garden, so I'm very, very grateful for that. And my family is all safe I'm, and well. Uh, my daughter and son-in-law do have COVID, um, but they're, f they're fine, um, and they're in Florida, um, and they're, 
you know, they they said, you know, for them, it's just like, it's like flu-like flu symptoms. It's just, um, they, they're very fatigued. But, um, you know, I've, I've been, obviously, when, when they told me, I was a wreck. But um, she's kept in touch with me every day, even though we didn't speak every day because she was just feeling so worn out. Um, she's fine because they're young, you know, and they, they can cope with this. But she said it, it's, it really is the same symptoms as like a, uh, a seasonal flu. But, um, but yeah, so that's the, really all the news that's been going on for me. Yeah, I'm just staying very, very busy with making some journals and things. So I hope I've got more things to share very soon. I'm, I'm going to start on another journal probably in a couple of days because I've got a couple other projects. I'm trying to finish up orders. Um, but you guys take care of yourselves. Um, do leave a comment below. And um, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I appreciate it so very much. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you here soon. Bye.